companies come up here and say they look like stuff, and they go, oh, I'm only thinking, oh, I look like an apple, or something like that. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Uh, but my face doesn't look like anything at all. But I do have a facial affliction that I'm pretty sure you can all see, where I do have quite a large head and very small centralised facial features. Not even a punchline. Someone once said it was like an island surrounded by a sea of fat. <laughs> I mean, I, I find stand-up comedy like, quite different, I have to practice a lot, and people say, oh my god, how do you be a stand-up comedian? What happens when you get up here and you're really shit and no one laughs at you, and you feel like shit, and you're really embarrassed, you have to go home and you're embarrassed to yourself, your family, and everyone you've ever known or ever loved. And you have to drive home, and you have to go into the garage, get a spade from out of the garage, go into the back garden, dig a hole with the spade, find the hole, cover yourself in petrol, and set yourself on fire. <laughs> do you feel like that sometimes? And you do, but you don't do it, obviously, because petrol's expensive. <laughs> So what I'm going to do for you uh, is show you my most embarrassing story of all time. Um, when I was about 17, I went to a house party in a place called Bretherton. And if you've never been to Bretherton before, it's very much sort of like Field Cow House. And it was the next day, and I was at the bus stop, and I had my hair put in, and I was hoodie up, and I was getting through this fucking hangover. And all of a sudden, beer shit started. <laughs> now, when I've got what I need to fart, and I've got my hair put in, what I do is I have a technique, where I take one of piece out, and I go, and pop it back in and no one's any of the wiser. But I thought, no one's around, fuck it, I'm going to go for the thought. I'm going to go for the kind of thought where you want to turn around and there'd just be destruction! <laughs> you know, like leaves swept off trees and broken glass and a cow on the roof. You know. And a big hole, there's got to be a big hole so you go, yes, I am a man! And so I got to the position and I went, This one for three or four minutes. <laughs> Check. Oh, not fall through. Great. Because <laughs> the last thing anyone wants is chocolate fingers, you know? And I thought, oh, that really smells. <laughs> so I went to waft it away. And as I wafted it away, my hand caught something and I turned around and it was a small child. <laughs> And I realised that I'd just parted in a small child's face <laughs> and then slapped him for the privilege. 